Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you. Welcome to a beginning of the week edition of Five Minutes with Phil. And I really thank you for joining me here on this uh, brand new work week. I hope you had a great weekend. And now we're going to get things started once again by taking a look at God's Word. And uh, this morning we're going to uh, <laughs> we're going to talk about the words that we say and what the Bible has to say about that. Um, you know, I, I, I tell you that words are very powerful. They really are. Uh, not in some weird cosmic sense. I'm not saying that. But the, the words that we speak to one another, um, they really have the ability to do a lot of damage and a lot of good. Uh, that decision is basically ours. And the verse I want to share with you from the book of Ephesians talks about that. Uh, why don't you take a look at it with me? It says this in Ephesians 4, verse 29. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Okay, so we've got some pretty good instructions for us here just from this one verse as to what our words should be like. Now, I'm going to pause here because uh, as I have been a pastor for <clears throat> quite a few years, uh, if there's any area that people love to um, maybe justify as far as it's not that bad or or they'll kind of roll their eyes and say yeah i do this but it, it's you know it, it's okay well it's not okay uh the, we, we have some instructions here that our language is spent now and remember paul is writing this to a group of followers of jesus christ and i'm assuming that a lot of us that are watching this right now that's what we are we're followers of jesus christ okay and when it comes to our language, our language should never be abusive, and certainly our language should never be foul. And uh, if if we can't allow the Holy Spirit to um, put a tight rein on our tongue, like the Book of James says, then uh, we've got problems, and, and we really need to mature and grow up in our faith in God. And maybe your speech, maybe the words that you say, maybe that's kind of a struggle for you. And I can tell you that conquering that thing, uh, that, that is a work of the Holy Spirit where you've got to commit that to the Lord every single day. But rather than just saying, okay, God help me and then doing nothing about it, we also, we also have some great instructions as to what our words should be and what our speech should be. And so let's uh, let's go over those real quick, okay? First of all, our words should be good. Okay, so rather than harsh or abusive or or um, or foul as the scripture says here, they should be good. So the, the words that we use should be good things that we say and they should be helpful. Uh, our words, our our speech, our communication uh, it's not just spoken word, by the way. It's what we text. It's what we type. It's what we post. Uh, that stuff should be good, and it should be helpful. If there's anything that uh, many in the church really got wrong during the last political season was a lot of Christians forgot this verse, and they forgot that the things that we even post online need to be good and they need to be helpful. They don't need to be foul, and they don't need to be abusive at all. That should not be the mark of a follower of Jesus Christ. And then Paul closes this verse by saying, Encourage, our speech should be an encouragement to those who hear them. So our words should actually be an encouragement. I, I really want to uh, challenge you today, all right? Uh, Make it a point to deliberately encourage people. It's easy to cut somebody down. You could do that with no effort whatsoever. You really could. Uh, it doesn't say that you're much of a wordsmith if all you do is, is tear people down. But as a follower of Jesus, let's be people that build one another up. 
Let's encourage one another. Let's say good and helpful words, and let's ask the Holy Spirit to help us do that. Then let's be deliberate about it, okay? All right, I'm done. Have a great day today. We love you. Thanks for joining us. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.